polls showing an easy Biden win, but Hunter's email and a whole lot of 2016 deja vu. He's probably gonna fucking win again. I think he's probably gonna win again. I'm Tim. I've been a Republican strategist my whole career. I love cutting taxes, babies, American exceptionalism, the Denver Nuggets, and RuPaul's Drag Race. And I used to go on TV to exclusively roast Democrats. But then all of a sudden, this racist asshole crashed my party, and things will never be the same. No, I don't take responsibility at all. This is not my party. Brought to you by The Bulwark. All right, with two weeks left to go, the biggest question I'm getting from Biden supporters is whether they should be nervous about a 2016 redux. Again. But there are big differences, making a comeback much tougher for Trump, starting with the absence of this guy. James Comey dropped a letter announcing that Hillary was under FBI investigation 11 days out from the election four years ago. And since this episode lands 11 days out from this year's election, hope I'm not jinxing anything. Now you've done it. In 2016, Comey's letter dominated headlines in the home stretch of the campaign and kept Trump's antics in the background. And that was a big reason that late deciding voters broke in massive numbers to Trump, powering his victory. This loss hurts. So let's explore the big story that's supposed to sink the Dems this time around. Well, Trump is pushing this notion that a leaked computer drive proves that Joe Biden was cutting deals with his son Hunter. There are a few problems with this. First, the origin of this computer drive is pretty sketch. The story was broken by the New York Post, which claims that they got the drive from a blind computer repairman in Delaware. Then somehow this blind guy gave the hard drive to Rudy Giuliani, maybe after he'd had a few scotches. The reason they call it blackout drunk. Some other problems. We now know that Rudy has been working with the Russians. And how did the blind computer repairman in Delaware know him in the first place? Plus, Hunter was living in LA at the time. Why didn't he just take his waterlogged laptop to the Apple store in the Grove? Some people lie. And here's the weakest part of this big story. The information, if true, is just lame. So what if Hunter Biden likes to party? Joe doesn't even drink. Who cares if he tried to introduce some of his shady friends to his dad? Meanwhile, Trump's son-in-law is WhatsApping with murderous dictators who are chopping journalists to pieces. This is not even in the same ballpark as the Clinton server story. So it's got no chance to make it onto the front pages in the midst of a historic pandemic. Which takes us to the next big difference. Trump is doing wheels off crazy shit every day that's gonna continue to result in bad news for his campaign. Here's a few examples that ensure Trump's craziness will be front page news. He's re-upping the locker up chant against a woman who's a victim of a kidnapping plot. Lock them all up. He won't reveal his COVID test history because he got so many people sick. Why is it so important to you? And he's mocking his science experts while holding super spreader events during a pandemic. If you vote for Biden, he'll listen to the scientists. So yeah, looks like this cycle, the bad news is gonna be following Mr. Trump. It's so unfair. And while last time late deciding voters broke big for Trump, this time polls show them leaning towards Biden. Not a joke. So does this mean Biden definitely wins and you can start ignoring politics for the next two weeks? No. Don't boo, vote. Trump still has a chance, but if he comes back, it's not gonna be in the same way that he did last time and the electoral college is sure to be much closer. Come back next week on Not My Party for your big election preview.